Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. This champion, uh, I am pretty excited uh, to take this champion up. I believe this champion is going to be very useful in a variety of situations. And some of them I didn't know until recently. And it was part of why I decided to take this champion up. But more on that later. So if you think you can guess, leave a comment below. Let me know what your guesses are. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three two, one, Bishop. So I got Bishop recently uh, from a crystal and I wanted Bishop. I'm tired of banning him in battlegrounds all the time. I wanted to get a Bishop. Well, I got Bishop and he had to go on the back burner because I had a couple other champions that I wanted to take up before him. But I always knew I was going to be taking him up as soon as I could. And that is what I did. I took him up. Uh, and let me tell you why I decided to take him up. Not just because he's a great defender, because he is. Um, in Battlegrounds, if you don't have a really good counter for Bishop, same thing in Alliance War, he can be a problem. Now, um... What is it? Infamous Iron Man is a great counter to Bishop. So, um, but at least it means that you have to think about it. If you come up against Bishop, you're like, okay, who am I going to counter this guy with? Can't just use anybody. You got to have a counter. So one of the things that I saw and I didn't realize it was that Bishop is a good counter for Korg. Now, back in the day, my first counter to Korg, I believe, um, I had been using um, uh, 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 Corvus, who was not great uh, against him. I think uh, I was half and half on winning my fights against Korg back then. But I got Havoc. And later on, I got Omega Red. So these were great counters to Korg, and I was the Korg killer for my uh, battle group. I got all of the Korg um, paths all the time. And I did not realize that Bishop was also a good counter for Korg. And I saw someone using Bishop against Korg. And I was like, whoa, he's actually really good against, uh, uh, against Korg. So when you're making your deck in uh, Battlegrounds, you really want to have champions that are strong on defense and offense if you can. That way, they don't know what you're going to do. And you have the flexibility to either place them on defense if you need to, or if they can counter somebody, place them on offense. And I've had several situations like with a uh, Hulkling. I've used Hulkling on both defense and offense, and he did a wonderful job on both. Then you have champions that are really more defensive than offensive, right? Um, but Bishop, he is strong defensively, but he can also deal with um, some pretty good champs like, like Korg. And there are other champions that he can, uh, uh, other pesky defenders that he's good against as well. Uh, but anyway, that is why I decided to uh, take him up to rank three. Now, will I take him to rank four? I don't know yet. Uh, I don't have enough resources just yet, but he is definitely a rank four candidate. In fact, most of my rank threes are rank four candidates, but he definitely is one of them. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Anyway, uh, let's take him into Realm of Legends 
and uh, we'll fight Winter Soldier and play around. I actually don't know the best rotation to use for Bishop or anything like that, but we'll do a little showcase at least, all right? So be right back. All right, now I saw something very interesting here. Uh, not this particular uh, synergy uh, for this particular fight, but check this one out. Start the fight with two prowess. Start the fight with two prowess. One bar of power, one bar of power. Look at all of these. So what I wanna know is if I choose all of these, will he start with three bars of power? Let's find out. And I know that he gets different things based on what bar of power he starts with. And we have class advantage, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see where his bars are looking like. Yup, he starts with three bars of power, wow. That's ugly. It didn't do a lot of damage, but still. I got prowess. That's not bad. I don't know how much of a use it will be, but pretty cool. Look at that regen. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. That heavy out of the way. Let me do this. Mm. And an incinerate. And that incinerate is ticking down. Let's see uh, what his special one looks like. Lots of crits. And I'm up to 14 prowess. Mm hmm. And look at the regen going. Now, of course, I'm running the uh, damage masteries. So my... Um, it's not healing me as much as it could because I have the uh, poison on. But still, that is proccing a lot. Look at that. Four, five stacks? That's crazy. Let's see what this one looks like with all that prowess. Okay, that was a bit more respectable. Come on. I think I was unblockable for a little bit there. But I didn't see it in time to make any use of it. Twenty-five prowess. Ooh, was that an eleven K crit? Mm. Look at all that incinerating. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Let's get him one more time. Mmm. And I'm firing specials with the damage masteries. And I'm still at a decent amount of health. Yeah. Let's go one more fight. Ah, uh, let's see. All right. Start with the one. All right. Oh, but we're at... That is a nasty set of synergies right there, man. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage initially. I guess he has to ramp up a little bit, but still. I'm really liking that regen, though. It's not that strong, but still. It's enough to uh, make him pretty sustainable with the uh, damage masteries. Let's see, 21, 28. Here, let's do this. Because I think he starts taking damage after a little bit. Look at how much more damage that did than the initial one. The initial one was like a single digit. 
four or five uh, percent. But once he has a good amount of prowess up, does some good damage. And since I'm a type of person that likes to parry a lot, this works out really good. Because he's gaining that power. So look at that. Parry. Parry. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't care about all that. Parry. Hit her with it. Mm. Do y'all see them 3K red damage numbers? Holy moly. I'm learning him as we're going here, too. Oh, whoops. I uh, I messed up there. I uh, shortcutted my uh, final attack. Come on. Come on. Yep, yep. Let's get a couple more. One more. One more. One more parry. Come on. There we go. And it's over with. Oh. I think I'm going to like him. I think I'm going to like him. I just got to learn uh, to use him a little bit better. But I think I'm going to like him. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Uh, what do you think about Bishop? Pretty cool, right? Uh, take care, and you all have a blessed day.